Hello and welcome everyone to WSA TV, brought to you by Women's Speakers Association. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer of WSA TV. I'm also a digital media and marketing strategist and author of the book, Social Media Myths Busted, a small business guide to online revenue. You can find me at transformtoday.com. I'm tuning into you today from San Diego. I have an amazing lineup of women here, experts who are ready to share their wisdom with you. And they are all premier members of Women's Speakers Association. And if you want to get a free membership and join us and these dynamic women, go to joinwsa.com. And you too can uh, join us and have access to so many benefits. In fact, we're going to find out you know, what people are enjoying here on Women's Speakers Association and what they're up to in the world. So with that, let's go to Dr. Jan and say hi. Hi, Dr. Jan. Hi, how are you today? I'm Dr. Jan Fortman. I'm an author, a life coach, and a motivational speaker. My book is entitled, The Secrets to How Not to Throw Mama from the Train. It's a book about the challenging relationships between adult daughters and their mothers. I can be reached at Dr. Janice Fortman, Associates, even better, drjanspeaks.com. I'm calling from Calumet City, Illinois, which is just right outside of Chicago. Great. Thank you so much. And would you like to say something about Women Speakers Association? Yes, definitely. What I love about Women's Speakers Association is that I get a chance to communicate and network with wonderful women who are inspirational, who are challenging, who support each other, and who are changing the world. Amen. That's awesome. Thank you. Let's go over to Ro and say hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. I am Ro Couture de Saro, and I am your gutsy gal business strategist. And I am an author, I am a speaker, and I am a coach. And my latest book is Keys to Conscious Business Growth. And I am actually calling from the living room of Middletown, New Jersey, if you could see my New York accent. <laughs> and what I love about Women uh, Speakers Association is that I get to be with a community of like-minded women, high-caliber women who just really are serious about their business. And then I also just love all the tools uh, that, that this organization gives, especially Speaker Chat. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, we have, we have some really great um, Speaker Chats as well as tools and the high caliber. I can't agree with you more. So let's go say hi to Miss Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Laura. Thank you for having me. I am calling from the great big city of Pell City, Alabama. And it's right outside of Birmingham. And I'm Lisa Roberts Bell, by the way. And I just love being a part of Women's Speakers Association. There is just a wealth of knowledge here, and, and no one minds sharing it. And uh, we have one common goal, and that is to get our, our words out to the, to the world. And I am just very uh, thankful to be a part of that. I also have my book. Um, I'm a Christian author and speaker and my book, Leave Your Past Behind. Um, and you can learn more about that and about my speaking engagements at lisarobertspell.wordpress.com. Awesome. Great to have you all here. Um, we're going to go to the speaker view here. And um, what I really want to find out from each of you now is what are you passionate about? What lights you up and what impact are you dedicated to making in the world? Because so many of you do incredible things. So um, Dr. Jan, I'd love to hear from you first. I work with adult women and their mothers and I am extremely passionate about how to help mothers and daughters deal with the complex dynamic relationship and sometimes challenging relationships that we have with our mothers and daughters and to talk about to show them some particular patterns of communication that oftentimes lead to difficult situations and that's what I'm I'm really really very passionate about so how did you get into this 
Well, I was talking with a friend of mine in a restaurant about the, a situation, a difficult situation that I was having with my mother. And I found out from her and just from other women that I was not alone. And so what I did, I uh, did a survey of 50 women across the United States. And I found out that a lot of women have challenging situations with their moms. And I decided, you know, this should be a book. I will be able to help women to deal with these difficult situations with their mamas. Wow, that's powerful, knowing you're not alone in that. Yes. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, I'd love to go to Roe and find out what you're passionate about and the difference and impact you're dedicated to making. Uh, I am so passionate about working with women and really up-leveling their perception of who they are so that they really like believe in themselves and, you know, nothing holds them back. You know, live your life, your rules, your boundaries so that you can show up and, and be what you were gifted on this world to be. And, you know, that is just something I'm so passionate about. And so what I do is now I am coaching women to be a gutsy gal so that they can do just that. Um, I help them with their business. I help them with their feel-good marketing strategies. It's all about keeping women in alignment so that they feel good what they're doing. They're more apt to do more of it. So that's what keeps me up every day. Awesome. <laughs> that's great. So we've got Jan with the get getting clear with your mom and then getting gutsy with Ro. <laughs> And so, Ro, how did you come to this work? Actually, well, it's a long story because uh, I've been doing this for over 40 years of working with women and mentoring women. And ever since I broke glass ceilings on Wall Street in the 80s, women have always come to me because of that. But it was only up to a couple of years ago that I'm actually doing this for a living. And, and what happened was that I was feeling I was missing something and there was more to my life and I didn't know what it was. So I kind of really went back to my own uh, inner, my own inner guidance and said, who am I? What is my message? Who do I serve? And what's my purpose in life? And it really come out to working with women and coaching them. And, and when I started going to networking meetings for my other business and seeing women, these bright, beautiful women showing up and playing small, it just gets me. I just had to do something about it. So um, that's why I started to you know, be coaching for women for success. Wonderful. Don't play small. Play big with Ro. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. Let's talk to uh, Lisa. What are you passionate about? What impact are you dedicated to making in the world? Well, Laura, I, I know that all of us women can relate to each other emotionally, and I am so passionate about helping women come to all they are meant to be, all that God intended them to be. Um, a lot of times women struggle with um, poor self images, and that's what I look for. Um, somebody that perhaps has been abused or, um, you know, recovering from alcohol or drug abuse or uh, been involved in uh, human or sexual trafficking, and they feel like they are bound to their past. And I want them to know that they're not, that they, they need to, to find out what they are worth to our Heavenly Father and leave that past behind. How did you come to this work, Lisa? This is great. Well, thank you. Um, my mother passed away five years ago with colon cancer, and I just went into self-destruction mode, and I abused alcohol and all kinds of crazy things, and I fell into such a dark pit of self-destruction that only God himself could have brought me out of that. And he did by showing me the root of my problem, which was a lack of self-worth. So I um, got the help that I needed. God showed me what I needed to do. And so I'm here to share that with everybody else, pay it forward and hope that they can get that healthy self-esteem going, going for them and share their story with other people and shine that's great thank you so much for the work you do and you know 
I'm so blown away by the women, all of you here. You have such incredible um, tools for people, whether it's getting like Lisa, self-esteem, getting gutsy and playing big or getting a great relationship with your mother. Oh my gosh, what more can you ask for here? I just want to share my screen and let you see all these women and their websites because if you have any doubt, any any of this rang a bell like, oh, I totally get that this person can help me. Go to their websites, learn more about them, be in touch. And next, I invite you into our living room. We're all here, we're like in a little salon here. And I invited these women and I asked them all to share a piece of wisdom, I'm going to ask them. And you get to listen in. So um, let's go around and find out the wisdom from our members today. I'm gonna to start with Dr. Jen. Remember that the relationship with your mother affects your personal as well as your professional life. And you cannot change your mother, but you can change the way you respond to difficult situations. Ah, beautiful. It's all in the response, isn't it? Right? Yes. I'm sure everyone else on the line here will agree. So um, let's go to Ro. Give us your awesome wisdom. Yeah, Dr. Jan, that is awesome. It, so it's the, the choices we make and the meaning we give to it. So thank you for sharing that. Um, I would like to remind women to love themselves enough to create boundaries in their business. Teach people how to, ex to, te to treat you, you know, and it accepts you and really show up with a compassion for them, but also, you know, they it, it, tell them up front what they need to give back. So I've learned a long time from my mentor, an ounce of pre-framing is worth a pound of reframing. And okay. that will free up your time, that will get you more productive, and clients secretly love when you give them boundaries. And it'll, you'll, it'll allow you to go from mediocrity to showing up as the expert. They need your guidance, they want it, just give it to them, but with your rules and your boundaries. I love it. Taking a deep breath and take that one in, everyone. That's right. Okay. And Lisa, share with us your wisdom. Well, first I want to say, Ro and Dr. Jan, you guys are awesome. Love your messages. But I want everyone to know that they are not their past mistakes. You can move forward into a bright, abundant future that our Heavenly Father has for us. No matter what anyone says, you are not your past mistakes. That's right. Wow. Everyone, wow. Just imagine people all over taking in this wisdom, setting their boundaries, understanding that they're magnificent just as they are, healing those important relationships with their mother, recognizing you can't change them. I love that, Dr. Jen. You women rock. I'm going to share my screen one more time and remind everyone that um, we are Women Speakers Association. And as you saw today, phenomenal team of people available to you to join, to help you boost your visibility, to bring your message to the world, to make the impact you're dedicated to making. So please join us at joinwsa.com. We have a free level of membership waiting for you. Or if you want the higher interaction and visibility, uh, join us as a premier member. It's a bargain. So that's joinwsa.com. We will see you again for another fantastic episode. Thank you so much, ladies. You rock. I'm in awe of all your work, and we will see you on our Facebook page and on the websites out there. So thank you again. Bye for now. Thank you.